Apple Gift Card is a practical gift that unlocks a world of entertainment and fun. You can send it via email or give a physical card to your loved ones. Your friends and family can spend it on their favorite Apple services, including Apple subscriptions. Apple Gift Card can be used to buy all things Apple. Products, accessories, apps, games, movies, TV shows, iCloud Plus, and more. Visit apple.com for details and to send Apple gift cards to your friends and family this holiday season. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the T-Moss Boss Show. And in today's episode, I start this episode, didn't have an idea of what I wanted to do. I wanted to do a random talk. And I wanted to do one talking about WrestleMania, well, the first half of it. And then I also wanted to talk on how I got caught up with a bunch of videos last night. And now all I just got to do is edit some videos. But I'm behind on podcast episodes, so I need to... I'm, I'm, I got a lot going on right now, but... Anyways, um, what can I talk on? I wrote down like a bunch of ideas on my phone. Um, all right, I, I guess I'll talk on clout chasing. That's that's how I, you know, I ain't even trying to like really like gas myself up, but that's how talented I am. Where I'm like last minute decision on a podcast episode, and I know I can turn it into a 15 minute episode. But first things first, let me make sure I haven't talked on clout chasing uh, before. If I did, then I'll just call this the 2021 edition. Um, nope, I haven't. I have not talked on clout chasing. All right, so let's talk on that real quick. Let's talk on clout chasing. So for those that I feel like clout chasing is something that a lot of people um, know. Like, I mean, I feel like both of the words is like self-explanatory if you but if you don't know what clout chasing is like you need me to explain it to you or you just like my explanations on stuff um yeah clout chasing you can clout chase just about anything music youtube um movies uh clout chasing has been going on for probably centuries you know probably like before our family trees was born like clout chasing has always been a thing all right so overall, to explain it in terms, um, some of you guys might understand it. So let's say uh, some stuff goes down between two people. One party would somehow involve themselves into that party like they really had something to do with this. So let's say, for an example, Big and Tupac, they beef in. Um, and let's say if I was born in those times... I jumped in the middle of it to try to stir up some drama surrounding myself. That, my friend, is clout chasing. Or, I mean, there's different forms and different ways to clout chase. Um, if there's, like, a popular trend that's going on. I feel like that that's, like, exceptional, like, clout chasing, though. Like, if there is a popular trend, like, let's say, for an example, that broom trend that was going on where everybody was standing their broomstick straight up, um, that's a popular trend. Uh, what other uh, trends out there? Yeah, there's there's a lot of um, different ways to clout chase. There's good ways of doing it, and then there's bad ways of doing it. The bad ways, of course, you want to avoid that at all costs. Don't be that. But that's the thing, though. Like, what is, like, a bad thing of clout chasing? Overall, like what I was saying with the Big and Tupac example, like, involving yourself in something that has absolutely nothing to do with you. So there's that, and then there's the clout chasing where if there's like a YouTube idea, you know, that everybody's been doing, that's okay. Like you can, that's perfectly fine on clout chasing on that. Um, a TikTok dance, you can perfectly, that's perfectly fine on clout chasing on that. Um, really, but it's like, it has to, but I feel like with that, it has to be something that you're interested in. It's something that you see yourself doing for a long period of time. That's why I feel like with, um, you know, with cloud chasing, like in a positive way, it's like, don't turn it into something uh, negative. Because if you turn it into something negative, then people are going to call you out on that stuff. And then they're going to be like, hey, you ain't being serious about this. And so then you got to answer for it. Then you're going to end up being a cringy person. And then a lot of people are going to just start hating on you. You don't want that, okay? You do not want that at all. Um, and have I ever clout chased? I would say maybe on trends and ideas, but I turned it into something positive and I made it into a long-term uh, thing. So overall, I just don't really 
want to be put in that category. I don't want to be called a clout chaser, but overall, like, in a negative way. Like, if you're going to call me a clout chaser in a positive way, like, oh, you chased after something and it paid off in the long run for you. I'm fine with that. But um, negative like clout chasing, no. I, I avoid that at all costs. I don't do any. Let me turn my TV off because they were watching. I had to, like, start this episode after American Dad because they were showing some old crazy stuff. And I'm like... I can't do I can't do like a serious episode and then be watching American Dad on the side. That that's a no can do. So but anyways, um but no, so um my I myself have never like clout chase in a negative way, but in a positive way, yes, like with the videos that I do on YouTube, podcasting, um, Twitch streaming, TikToks. Um, yeah, but it's stuff where I'm like, I felt comfortable posting that. I felt comfortable doing that. So, and like, you know, in that sense, I'm like, all right, you know, that's cool. That's cool. That's perfectly fine. But have I ever cloud chased in a negative way? No, don't plan on it. Never will do that. But have I ever had to deal with cloud chasers? Yes, 100%. Um, I think I've spoke on, uh, my haters. Uh, yeah, those guys, they are probably some of the biggest cloud chasers, um, that I've ever had to See, that I've ever seen and dealt with because the reason why I say that they have the energy for like negative clout chasing because anytime when somebody will make a video on me these guys will like turn around and be supporting it or doing it themselves or you know all in my comment sections or sending me tweets or comments whatever you know just sending some like dumb stuff right and overall there's at times I remember there was one time I called the guy out <clears throat> excuse me I called the guy out on that stuff and I say, like, just don't tag me in that. I don't care for it. And he was just like, I can tag you in whatever I feel like. And I'm like, see, it's things like that where I'm like, bro, that's why it, to me, it's just so cringy when I see, like, the people that's clout chase, like, off of, like, some dumb stuff. Stuff that's like, you ain't gonna get anywhere with it. Like, my thing is, like, if you're gonna clout chase or if you're gonna clout chase in a negative way, like, at least have it be something much more bigger, you know, like, if you're going to clout chase off of some small crap, then that's why I'm like, you ain't even clout chasing now. You're just a hater. So that's why I'm like, I, I feel like it's like clout, clout chasing haters. That's what I'm going to call the people that's hated on me, clout chasing haters. So, um, <clears throat> excuse me. But anyways, I should have drank some water or something. It's like when I do, like, podcast episodes or YouTube videos, like, throat gets a little dry. But, <clears throat> all right, I think I'm good now. But anyways, so... Uh, yeah, there, um, yeah, there's like clout chasing haters, uh, avoid those people at all costs, but, um, like positive, like clout chasing, I, I, I guess like, I don't know, clout chasing ain't really never been used in a positive way, but I guess like to use it in a positive way, positive clout chasing, like, yeah, that's, that's fine. That's cool. You know, ain't, ain't no problems with that, but yeah, there's people out there where it's like, um, you know, there's, uh, like people that want to like, uh, clout chase on like fashion. Um, so like for an example, if somebody like, cause there's people out there where I'm like, I know you don't like those Jordans. I know you don't like them Supreme clothes. I know you don't like them Gucci clothes or Balenciaga or whatever clout chasing. Um, and they're trying to like make it seem like that they're part of the trend setting, uh, team. And it's like, no trendsetters. I personally feel like trendsetters are the ones that get into stuff that they like. And they're the, like, you know, so for an example, if I go out and buy me a pair of Jordans, if I go out and buy me a pair of Adidas, because that's the, um, that's the stuff that I want. And I overall will wear it so other people can see and be like, hey, that's nice. Like, you rocking that. And I, that's like one of my most favorite things ever is to buy something that I like, not seeing anybody else wear it or anybody else post about it, and somebody compliments me on that. I can't remember what it was. I think, no, it was when I had got... There was these uh, um, Air Max 270s. It was like the original um, uh, black and white oh, um, Air Max 270s that had came. Or was it the, yeah, it was the 270s. It was those with the like bubble in the back. And I remember I was wearing those out in public. And this guy walked past me. I was, um, so I was at the bus stop. I just got off work and I was wearing them. And this guy came up. He was like walking. He was on the phone. And he put his phone down just to compliment me on my shoes. So here's the thing. I've seen so many different types of like colorways of that shoe. So many different types of people wearing those shoes. 
and the black and white ones was like something where I I remember when I had I was because my thing is like shoes that you're able to get like in store I feel like that's when you know when you're able to do that and you're able to walk around and you constantly seeing them on stores and on websites and all that crap because I still see them shoes available till this day like you can easily go out and buy them shoes let me actually see how much them shoes cost on StockX. I always love like when I mention or talk about some shoes I always love seeing the prices of them on StockX. Um, I got like a straight up addiction with that. I always go on um, StockX to see how much some shoes would cost. But anyways, here we go. Black and white. Them shoes cost 100 You could get them for 100 Well, in a size 10, you could get them for 121 They cost uh, average price, price premium, 12 Wait a minute, wait a minute. What? What is this? Oh, I was like, I'm like, what am I looking at? It, but no, they, so yeah, they uh, retail 150 So you could easily go out and get them shoes. I think I do. I wonder if I still got my black vault ones because I remember I came out or I I gave away like a um a, some shoes away to uh, some friends of mine and I um I had to like go back and check to see like which shoes I gave them and be like ah I gave them shoes away so can't wear those today but anyways anyways um but no like. I remember when I started wearing them shoes, and I seen, like, a lot of people, like, compliment me. And I'm not saying that I, like, you know, I trendsetted them shoes, like, I got everybody else wearing them. But I'm just saying, like, when somebody compliments me on something that I like, I do, you know, feel like that I just started something with that. Because I'm like, my, that, my thing is, or what's going through my mind, is that that guy's going to be like, man, I really like them shoes that that guy was wearing yesterday. Or he might already have a pair himself, but if not, then he's like, dang, like, Seeing that, that's a sign. I got a sneaker addiction, so let me just go over to the Nike store real quick or Foot Locker or Champs and go out and buy them shoes. So, me personally, is that clout, or, you know, to answer that question, is that clout chasing? No. No, that is not. Because my thing is that if that man, if he likes those shoes, it's okay. He can buy them. No problem about it. I, I will encourage that man on buying them shoes. But, now, let's say for an example... I bought those shoes, but I didn't like them. But I'm posting about them, talking about how I have them and all that crap. And, you know, trying to get all these likes and trying to get all these views and things. That's clout chasing. And I feel like that, my friend, is clout chasing in a negative way. Because I'm not wearing the shoes. I'm not beating the shoes up. I'm not, you know, doing any... And them shoes, I beat... I was... I haven't said I haven't beaten them shoes up, but I was wearing them a lot. After that man complimented me, yeah, I was wearing them shoes a lot. So, um, but... Of course, with sneaker addiction, you know, once you buy your next pair of shoes and it's like them shoes, they just gone until you find like an outfit that you can wear with them or you just slipping them on one day. But um, anyways, um, but yeah, so if I were to like go out and buy those shoes and I ain't like them, but I'm posting about them and all that, that's that's clout chasing in a negative way because I'm like, I don't like those shoes, but I bought them just so I can get some clout from it. So overall, it's like that's that's the whole reason of clout chasing. For those that haven't figured it out, and you've been listening to this podcast episode for 12 minutes and 18 seconds, if you have not figured it out, clout chasing is overall just trying to get as much clout as you possibly can towards yourself. You want to be the center of attention. You want to be the um, spotlight and all that. So like I was saying, like, you know, if you're going to be doing it in a positive way, like overall, people, are, I want people to see me wearing those shoes. I don't want people to see me posting about those shoes. That's why I'll post about those shoes one time. Or if it's like Air Max Day, because I know Nike, they'll do that. And they'll be like, oh, happy Air Max Day. So if I post about them shoes that time, then I'm like, or I just post about them a lot because they're my favorite shoes and I'll be wearing them a lot. Then that's, you know, I feel like that's cool. But if people are all like, bro, you don't ever wear them shoes outside. Or when you do, it's like you're always acting weird and funny about like wearing them outside and things. Like you ain't trying to dirty them up and beat them up and stuff. Please, I buy, my thing is like, I buy me a pair of shoes. I buy, there's these uh, Quantum Yeezys um, that got, so I feel like with Yeezys, I feel like Yeezys are a good example to talk about with, um, like that's, I feel like that's like the shoe. If we're going to talk on clout chasing, people and Yeezys, so many people try to clout chase off of those shoes. It's that, the brand Supreme uh nike be having some like shoes and stuff that you can clout chase off of but yeah with yeezys though it's like oh my god like the clout chasing the clout of round um yeezy shoes it's just it's wild like if you're not like i i did a whole podcast episode talking about like getting into sneakers like i don't know if i really did talk too much on um uh, kanye west's uh shoes but um anyways uh no but his shoes so i had bought those shoes to overall like wear them 
you know, beat them up, and I and I did. There's the one uh, gray ones that I have. I I I I have to say, like I've beaten up like a portion of them shoes a little bit badly. Uh, there's like the suede part of the shoe um, that's uh, that's overall like it, it's it's pretty dirty. I wore those shoes when it had snowed and um, the snow had got pretty dirty in the area where I lived at, um, where I live at. And uh, yeah, them them shoes they 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 got a little bit messed up. So I uh, I haven't worn the shoes since. Um, well, actually, no, I take that back. I did I did wear them like one time outside. But, um, yeah, I bought them shoes to dirty them up and stuff. So I do plan on, uh, I do eventually plan on cleaning them and things. But I did get me another pair. And I got, and the reason why I got the second pair, because the second pair glows in the dark. Now, there's that child in me where it's like shoes that glows in the dark. Shoes where there's these one Nike shoes that just came out. And I'm like, man, I really want to get them. But I'm like, you know, that's, that's that, like, that discipline of, like, being a sneakerhead. It's like, no, you wait on it until you can get them. If you can't get them right now and you got responsibilities to be worrying about, no. So, yes, I'm like, I, uh, I really want to get them shoes. But it is these Nike shoes where it's, like, parts of it, like, be detaching and coming off. And I'm like, fam, if I somehow, like, become a famous YouTuber overnight, I'm buying them shoes tomorrow. 100% buying them shoes tomorrow. So, Guys, subscribe to my channel <laughs> so I can buy those shoes. But uh, no, like jokes aside though, like I want those shoes because I like them. I don't want to get them shoes because it's like, that's the trend. That's why, you know, like, no, I do that because I, I buy shoes because I want them. And it's like that with um, freaking a video game, for an example. Now with gaming, I feel like, yeah, cloud chasing, you'll see people where they'll play certain video games. And I've done that. I play games to overall because I've seen so many other people playing them. So I'm like, you know what? Let me, let me, let me take some of that cloud in myself. Let me, let me take some of that in myself. But I'll play the game, but if I don't like it, I ain't gonna continue on playing it because oh that's I'm trying to get as much cloud as I possibly can. And next thing you know, people see um out here see I'm telling you, the games where people be clout chasing um the like the like games like the most if i would have played like those games knowing i don't like them i would have went through probably a few controllers in the first like few months of this year um but definitely like for the remainder or for my whole time of playing video games oh yeah i i went through numerous consoles numerous controllers probably a few tvs probably would have fractured and broke some bones um what else probably would have messed i yeah i i had like a i had like a lot of like bumps bruises cuts wounds of some sorts because playing video games like are playing games i don't like but i'm trying to get clout off of them yeah people overall like that type of content but me on the other hand i'm like i like watching it but i'm not going to be that person where i'm out doing it myself i'm, I'm my thing is is like i i don't know like i i'm at a point in time in my life where i'm like i don't want to do that so we we ain't gonna do that so but i'm like if there's ever a day where i just feel like you know playing a game and raging I will let you guys know. So, but until, but no, there's the one game I have, I wasn't, that game doesn't really have like no clout around it. It's just a trash game. Um, but the Division 2, I was just ranting about that game not too long ago. But, anyways, to talk on that game. So, to let everybody know, um, I will not be streaming that game anymore or make any uh, videos on it. Um, unless like I'm like really bored and I just overall want to play it or, you know, if somebody's like, I, even if somebody's like begging me to play it, I, I'm most likely not going to play it. Uh, there is a friend of mine's that uh, he he said that he liked the videos that I did on that game, and I had people that was like following me on Twitch that liked that I played that game, but I I overall can't do it anymore. I'm like that game. It's just it's caused it's caused me so much like anger and frustration. I'm like if I play that game any minute um any more like minutes of my life, I'm I'm most likely going to break something. I've my new controller, I don't know how many, I've thrown it, like, numerous times, like, but just, like, at the ground and stuff, but I'm like, bro, it's a brand new, like, it's for the new Xboxes, I'm like, I'm not trying to mess this controller up because the division, Ubisoft doesn't want to work on their game, so I'm like, no, I ain't gonna play that old trash game anymore, so... Um, if you were wondering, do, should you get the Division 2? No, do not get it. I don't care if that game blows up, I don't care if people are starting to play it or whatever... Don't buy that game unless Ubisoft like sits down and they come out with like a hundred and something gigabyte update to fix that whole game. Cause I'm like, that is probably the most broken game I have ever played. So uh yeah, I'm gonna lie, when they do that, then 
I will uh, clout chase off of that game. But until then, I'm like, I don't ever see myself playing that game again. So I'll go out and um, record. I'll go. I'll go out and play a game that uh, something else, brand new, like that I've never played before. Before I play that game again, because I'm like, that game's just stupid. I'm like, you out here be playing that game for the longest, and it's like, you don't even be getting anything good in that game. They give you the same crap over and over again. I don't care, like, how you got to play that game or how you have to set it up. I'm playing the game. I'm doing the levels. I should be getting different stuff. I'm out here getting the same things over and over and over again. No, game's trash. I'm like, game's broken. So I'm like, no. I'm like, it ain't even about me and how I'm playing it. It's about how Ubisoft has put that game out. And I'm like, no, take that game off the store. Just overall, take it off of all consoles. Have it where nobody can't play it till that game is fixed. I'm telling you, if that's how gaming was set up, where it's like if a game was really broken and um developers are just refusing to fix it i feel like it should be left up to the uh, fans I, that should be a brainstorming video that um on my i have like a brainstorming channel i'll come out with ideas for like people to support and stuff so somebody or either myself can do it but um no they should do that on um for games it's like when a game is just really bad and the developers aren't fixing it or doing anything to it we should be able to vote to take the game out of stores until they do something with it until then they ain't gonna make no money off of it because i'm like no it's just messed up where it's like there's people probably buying that game right now playing that game right now not realizing it's gonna probably be at some point in time it, the game is gonna be broken uh, or or they're gonna realize that the game is broken. They're not doing anything to fix it They just thinking oh, okay It's just like some like early on glitches or some new glitches. No, it's been glitches that's been going on in that game since uh, The beginning so I'm like yeah, I'm like when they uh, overall fix that I'm like that that's honestly that's a good idea I might I might have to turn that into a uh, brainstorming idea video but um overall back on clout chasing uh but yeah like you don't ever really see people clout chasing stuff that doesn't have no clout towards it you'll see where people um will like blow something up and then like so for an example let's say pewdiepie pewdiepie um pewdiepie plays a video game um that nobody's really talking on or playing he plays it like or so let's say if he did play the division then that's when probably the developers be like oh let's come out with these updates and fix the game before all these people it's kind of like when you know you know company is coming over so you hurry up and clean the house but then while you're just there it's just or the people that's just there or whoever you know you just leave it dirty because it's like oh okay that's what pretty much ubisoft is doing with their games until some company comes over and then that's when they're like oh let's 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 fix the game and stuff or let's you know clean the place up but um yeah let's say if pewdiepie he plays uh the division two then everybody will be playing the division two and you'll see where it's like oh, all these new and different things is happening and so that my i feel like that's in like uh clout chasing in some sort of way but uh yeah other than that it's you know that's um that's what, just what people do so you're gonna you're gonna have people out there that cloud chases in a positive way and you're gonna have people out there that cloud chases in a negative way stay away from the negative ones the positive ones they cool support that love it do what you can to it but anyways in that being said i will talk to y'all later thank you guys for uh watching Hopefully you enjoyed this uh, um, episode. If you're viewing this on YouTube, make sure you like and subscribe. And if you're viewing this on the podcast streaming service, make sure you follow or subscribe, however it's set up. Um, subscribe to one of my 31 YouTube channels. Follow me on Twitch, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. Um, just search up Tmos Boss and you should be able to find my uh, profiles and accounts. And uh, yeah, and that being said, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching and or listening and peace.